Hello and good morning. Um, happy Friday. I hope uh, for a lot of you guys you aren't doing what I am, which is working again tomorrow, but hey ho. And um, for those of you that uh, are interested, I'm going to be at Roots Farm Shop doing a tasting, so it's not a huge amount of work. It's just, you know, good old fun seeing the customer, meeting our stockists, and hanging out. Um, Roots Farm Shop um, will be there from about 10, 30, 11 till probably about 3, 3.30 in the afternoon. So if you are interested, please stop by and we'll have some great samples, new recipe cards, brand new recipe cards, um, and some other fun stuff for you guys. Anyway, I, uh, I know it's been a little while and I do apologize for that. Um, the response that I've had from you guys from doing these videos and also the article that I posted not too long ago has been phenomenal and I just cannot thank you enough for all of the support and the kind words and the fact that what I'm saying is resonating with you which is the most important thing for me and um, because yeah I'm sharing my story but I think really what it is is that I'm trying to articulate what a lot of us feel and what a lot of us go through on a day-to-day -day basis and sometimes it can be really hard to recognize what it is that you're feeling sometimes it can just be hard to take the time to reflect to find out how you're reacting to a situation um and so i i just yeah i mean thanks guys it's uh, definitely giving me the courage to continue doing this and continue being open and honest with you guys. Um, one of the things that I thought I'd mention today, I've been struggling a little bit lately, just just in in myself mostly. Um, I think I have unbelievably high standards for myself most of the time, which is a great thing. But it's also something that often really gets me down and, and it kind of clouds my senses and it doesn't allow me to really celebrate the success that I do have. And, and also take a minute to just be proud of what I've done and gentle with myself I think is a big thing. And treating yourself how you would basically want to be treated um, this sounds kind of weird but I guess sometimes I picture it as kind of like um, future me past me um, and then sometimes it's almost like my inner child um, so just making sure that that part of me that needs acceptance and needs to feel loved and needs to have somebody say you know what, you've done a good job, regardless of whether I've failed or been successful. Um, feeding that and uh, just being aware of it and making sure that you're trying to take care of your very basic personal needs um, as well as the business needs because I think we all can agree that if you can't take care of your emotional side, um, it's going to give you a hard time. You'll struggle with uh, forming relationships and work um, being able and to be inspiring for a team that you might have had or have. Um, so one of the things that I do to try and stay aware, and I think some people have heard me talk about this through the mental health and well-being workshop that I run, is just being grateful um taking some time out it doesn't have to be a huge amount of time it can literally be like while you're walking to work or sometimes i do it on my way home because it's after i've had a busy day i've been working a lot and i just need to take a minute and sort of restructure my thoughts and put things where they belong rather than where they just kind of end up sticking throughout the day so um the thing about uh, showing gratitude is that it's not as, I mean it can be, but I try to not do it in a kind of Thanksgiving way where everyone's sat around the table and they're like, well I'm thankful for my family and 
I'm thankful for this food on my plate and the roof over my head. And don't get me wrong, those are important things to be thankful for. But what I try and harness and uh, take a bit of time to really structure the exercise around is things that aren't so obvious. So for instance, I will um, try and address and uh, make sure that I'm aware and grateful of the support that I'm giving and of the network that I've built up over the past few years. I'm grateful for the um, sound that my cat makes when he's hungry. <laughs> I'm grateful for the heat that my dog gives me when we're cuddling up in bed at night. I'm grateful for the fact that my partner is well aware that I enjoy a good few sweet things at night and always make sure that we have cookies or something like that in the house. Um, and of course, if you want to focus a little bit more business side, then, you know, I'm very grateful for the fact that I am actually able to be in the position that I'm in. And because if it wasn't for some of the support that I have and the mentoring that I've been given and the help along the way that I definitely wouldn't be where I am or it would at least have taken me probably about five times longer. Um, so that's what I think is important about gratitude and uh, an example that I like to use that I heard once was headwinds and tailwinds. So when you're running or you're cycling and you're doing it against the wind, so the wind's coming straight at you and you're battling and you're trying, you really notice that wind. You really notice that force that's pushing against you and making you work harder, right? We all do. And all you can think of during that time is, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to be around this corner so that the wind's at my back and I am no longer struggling against this. So you round the corner and the wind's at your back and maybe it's a little bit downhill as well. And you are just like, yeah, this is great. You can feel the wind in your hair and you're able to take a little breather. And man, we appreciate that. We are so grateful for that. And for, you know, maybe even 30 seconds, we're really enjoying it. And then we're used to it. We adapt so quickly to that kind of a change that pretty soon, you're not even thinking about the fact that at one point you were struggling against the wind. Now you've got a little bit of help. At that point, maybe all you're thinking about is the fact that you've still got three miles left to go or you're not hitting the time that you wanted to. So I guess what that example is, is how quickly we tend to forget the positives and those things that can help us move forward faster. And so if you can, if you can, try and take a minute, five minutes um, today just to say to yourself, write a list, say it out loud, um, or just, just in your head, what are you grateful for? What is the element, the smell, the feeling, the food, the taste, the touch, the material, the support that really makes a difference to where you'd be and what are those things that when things seem kind of crap that you can kind of look back on and go but you know what this is still an amazing place to be and I am grateful to be in this place anyway guys a bit of a long one so thanks if you stayed with me till the end I hope you have a wonderful weekend um, I'm heading to Munich next week, so be sure to have a check up on what I'm doing because I will certainly be keeping you updated. And I'll talk to you later. See ya!